Unprecedented rent hikes, illegal evictions, homes so in need of repair their health hazards. Far too many renters are dealing with problems like these, and that's why they are organizing together with increased urgency to get tenant legal protections passed in their towns, cities, and states. Here are the top six things they're fighting for. Right to habitability. It may sound obvious, but tenants should have an enforceable right to a safe, decent living space. And all too often, they don't. For most of my neighbors, like they have mold, mice, roaches. Some people don't even have smoke alarms. There's like all kinds of repairs that need to get done and they just, they won't do it. There's been an ongoing problem with pincher bugs for the entire time that I've been here. But like every day there's like five to 10 pincher bugs that we have to kill. That's every day for two years. Five, a one-year-old and a two-year-old and uh, they like to pick up things and put things in their mouth. And so it's I'm constantly like having to watch them and make sure that there's no bugs around. Tenants are organizing for the right to make repairs themselves when landlords don't, and legally withhold the cost from their rent. Good cause eviction. Also called just cause eviction, this means tenants can't be evicted or denied a lease renewal unless they have violated their lease or failed to pay. Earlier this year, Monroe County, New York withheld some of Oscar Brewer's rent from his landlord due to health and safety violations. They tried to evict me. That eviction was thrown out of court without prejudice. They lost that case. So now they're coming up with no reason and trying to evict me again. We also call that a retaliation eviction. A bill such as good cause eviction protection would definitely would have helped my family a lot. To keep landlords from getting around good cause eviction protection by just jacking rent so high tenants can't hope to pay, strong legislation also comes with caps on how much rent can be increased. Um, back in 2014, they raised my rent uh, to a few of us by 100%. They doubled my rent. If, they, if they're allowed to give me another 100% rent increase, it's pretty much an automatic eviction without having to take me to court. Aside from the financial situation is that uncertainty, but more than a, than a burden when it comes to an income is what this has done to my health, mental and physical. What we're fighting for is good cause eviction. Right to counsel. When tenants have legal representation in housing court, their risk of eviction drops dramatically. Right to counsel laws guarantee that tenants facing eviction have a lawyer. So yeah, so my landlord put me in a really bad situation by putting me in a house. It should have never been rented. But as months went on, the utility bill went up and up and up. Eventually, Sabrina called an electrical inspector who told her the house could catch fire at any moment, but her landlord didn't care. And instead of fixing the problem, he decided to evict me which put me in eviction court. I asked him, do I need to show up in eviction court? And he texted me back, no, don't show up in eviction court. I'll take care of it. Thank God that I did show up in court. Otherwise, I would have found myself out on the street the next day homeless. Right to counts is very important for everyone. Rent regulation. Frequently known as rent control or rent stabilization, rent regulation puts limits on how much and how often landlords can increase rents on certain homes. So when I moved there, the rent was $1,500. I've only been there for a year and a half and the rent has already gone up to $1,800, which is um, a very hard rent burden on me. I have to work two jobs to pay it and um, oftentimes I'm left with very little money and I have to make very tough decisions. If I put gas in the car, if I put food in the, in the refrigerator for my son, I always have the fear in the back of my mind of, you know, will we be um, evicted? In 2022, tenant organizers won a provision in Antioch that caps rent increases at 3% or 60% of the consumer price index, whichever is less. It lets me sleep a little better at night. Tenant opportunity to purchase. One way to even the playing field is to have more buildings owned by their residents, and a great way to make that happen is through tenant opportunity to purchase laws, which give tenants whose building is being sold the right to purchase the property before anyone else does. What I would love to see is for tenants to really have um, social housing or um, you know, tenant opportunity to purchase. We would love to do that. If that was an opportunity that we were given, that we would be given, it right to organize and protection from harassment. 
Getting tenant rights on the books won't do you any good if the minute you assert them, tell your neighbors about them, or start organizing to get them passed, your landlord starts threatening you or retaliating against you, or even if you're just afraid they might. I put your maintenance request and things like that, but like after a couple of months of like complaining about it and stuff like that, like um, I kind of feel like maybe I'm bugging them too much or maybe like they might run and retaliate and evict me for some reason. The representative from the office threatened myself and my 23-year-old son tried to engage us in fights. He said he's got many guns, lifted up his shirt and told my son to come off the porch and get some. Stories like these are why many tenants' rights advocates are prioritizing legislation establishing penalties for harassment by landlords. All over the country, tenants are pushing for and winning bills that establish tenant protections. So go ahead and use your voice. And I, I encourage you um, to just, you know, believe that change can happen. To learn more about the state of tenant organizing, visit us at shelterforce.org and check out our series, Tenant Power Returns.